Cadell Evans had been on the verge of greatness for a number of years and the Australian went into the 2010 Santos Tour Down Under as the reigning UCI Road Race World Champion. The fans flocked to Adelaide to cheer on a true blue Aussie in the infamous rainbow colours. Riding for his new pro team, BMC Racing, Evans didn't disappoint, producing one of the most memorable performances in tour history. The Jayco Stage 5 at Old Wollonga Hill was the perfect setting for the world champion as he stamped on the pedals, leaving both the crowd and competitors in awe. And Cadell Evans has gone. He's had to go, but what a sight this is, whatever happens. The world champion, the homeboy who's the world number one bike rider, dancing on the pedals in a hill in South Australia. It is an organiser's dream come true. Valverde now is trying to put matters to rights as well. He could take this race as well. He's taking with him too. Peter Sagan is also riding up. Number 146 there has got 20 stitches in that left knee. And he said, don't put me out the race. I want to finish. And he's right up in the overall standings of this race. And he's only 19. But this isn't just form. This is a different Cadell Evans. The, this is the other side of winning a world title. This is a man now full of determination, full of confidence. And right up behind him is Luis Leon Santos has come up now. Thousands of fans worshipping the road he was riding on. Look at the crowd now as they spot the rainbow jersey. Is there going to be gold at the end of this rainbow? That's the question. Well, Sanchez is looking for about 30 seconds at the start of the day over Andre Greipel. But if these riders, they are oh. getting together, this is the turning point possibly, Phil, of this race. These are strong men. You're looking here at Valverde, Luis Leon Sanchez, Cadell Evans, and of course, the young rider in the lime green of Likugas. He's a young guy on the way up. But we've seen that Peter Sagan has got great form in this race. Wow, I wonder where Greipel is now. They will all work together once they've got over the summit of this climb. They all know they could be looking at the podium positions here in the Santos Tour Down Under this year, 2010. But Cadell Evans has made a serious demonstration. And we were right at the start of the day to talk about Case Stefania. They didn't come here on holiday. They didn't no. come here to see a few kangaroos and koalas. They came here to race. The fairy tale never unfolded. And although the peloton didn't quite catch the leaders, Luis Leon Sanchez proved too strong, sprinting away from the lead group to claim victory. However, it was Cadell Evans at Old Wollonga Hill that will always be remembered by the fans as one of the most exciting days in Santos Tour Down Under history. Just over 18 months later, Cadell became the first Australian to be crowned winner of the Tour de France.